So this car has one of those old Fram external oil filters. I've seen people run these on Volkswagens. They could serve not only to filter your oil, uh, but to cool it in the case of like having one on a Volkswagen. Um, this, it, and some of you already know this, has a roll of Scott toilet paper inside it. And it's made for that. The toilet paper acts as the filter. And when you change your filter, you unscrew this and take the old roll of toilet paper out, throw it away, put a new one in there, peel off enough pieces of paper until it fits down in there just perfect, and then uh, reattach that and you're ready to roll. I disconnected this because there are so many opportunities for leaks. You know, there's a connection here and a connection there and a connection there and one here 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 and one here. You know, you can just see with all these different connections, there's all these different opportunities for it to leak. And this car has an oil filter, actually a kind of a modern type screw on oil filter up underneath it there. And when I got the car, some of you remember this too. It was stuck, couldn't get it off. Sometimes I wonder if they didn't put this on because it was they couldn't get that off, I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna take this off. What I mean, it's already disconnected. I'm gonna get it out of my way because I wanna put a, uh, an external six volt electric fuel pump down here to assist the old bowl type fuel pump that I have there. Uh, I think that sometimes the gas just kind of gravity leaks down into here so that when you go to crank it there's no gas up to the carburetor and then you have to grind it a while before the gas gets up in there. And uh, there's a connection, a connection in my lines right here in my fuel line. It looks like I could disconnect it at this point and hook one end into the gas pump and the other end in the other side of the gas pump and wire it to work with the ignition switch and then she'd be good to go. I don't know for sure if that's going to make it any better but uh, it won't do it any harm and that's my plan is to uh, put that on there. So there's that. So my first thing is it's fairly simple just to get this out of the way. I'm going to loosen this bolt that goes through the middle of here. Lift that off. This thing here I don't know if those are tech screws or if those are screws that go all the way through the side of that but I'll get it all out of the way that'll give me a little more room to get my hands down in here and figure out what I want to do about mounting that uh, that fuel pump <clears throat> ran into here is uh, the two bolt well let me get this out of the way and then we'll talk about what I ran into here I'm gonna take this line off so that I can lift this part out of here that's gonna give me a little more room to work and then I'm gonna show you what I got or what I'm looking at here's what we're looking at the bolts that hold this oil pressure block on see those two bolts right there they're kind of like up against the fender well under that yellow wire well they each have a nut on the outside of them which means on the other side of this fender wall so in order to get to them you have to reach up in there behind that little kind of headlight bracket thing you have to get on your back to reach up in there and you can hang a wrench on there and it's almost impossible to reach over in here and turn this while you're holding that while I was looking at that I got to thinking about cutting that off with a, just getting a grinder wheel and cutting it off but then all this is in the way and while I was looking at all this I got to noticing that these wires are right raw right here um, and I drove this to work once a while back and on the, all the way home the lights were flickering off and on I kind of thought, well, it's probably short in the dimmer switch. But now that I'm looking at this, I'm thinking there's so many opportunities for shorts here. This is probably the horn relay. And that'd probably be a pretty good place to start trying to figure out how to make the horn work on this thing. But to get this off, it would be sensible to get that off. So I get a grinding wheel down in here and just cut these two things. And then I got all these wires in the way, which should probably go anyway. So I'm thinking maybe 
what needs to really happen is me uh, kind of getting all these wires unbolted, unloosened from this wire block here and going through the process of repairing all them. Of course, all that goes along with the process of swapping this thing over to a 12 volt, which is something I want to do. Now, the wiring on this car is way heavy enough. Anytime you got a six volt car, the 12, the six volt wiring is going to be heavier than the 12 volt wiring requires. So you shouldn't have too much problem making that change over as far as the, the uh, ability of the wire. However, when you've got wires that are rotted out this bad, that could be concerning. Now Cutworm did send me some liquid wire insulation stuff a while back. It might not be a bad idea to get some of that and just coat all of these wires just right off before I do anything else. That just makes sure that nothing grounds out against anything else even while I'm out here working on this. And these uh, bolts here, I think they I think they are like tech screws, so I think I can un... Y'all looking at what I'm looking at? Where y'all looking? Where y'all looking at? I think my camera froze. What I'm seeing ain't, what, ain't what's going on. It says the film's running, but... Hmm. Something weird is going on with my camera. Anyway, if you can see this, I think these bolts will just unscrew and I can go ahead and get this piece out of the way. Uh, I might do that. See if I can unfasten these hoses to get them out of the way. And that'll give me some more room to work at what I was working at down in there originally, which was the fuel pump. My camera is showing no picture on my side of the screen, so I might take the memory card inside and see if any of this is recording. And then I'll come back.